Ballora Strickling was forced to flee her home on St Thomas in the US Virgin Islands after Hurricane Irma. She joins me now live from San Juan in Puerto Rico. Uh, Laura, delighted to see um, that you're safe and well. Just uh, tell us how you ended up uh, getting to uh, Puerto Rico and, and your experiences over the last few days. My friends and I have been calling it the Puerto Rican Navy. They, uh, it's civilian boats that are bringing supplies to St. Thomas and taking back people who need to go. Um, I, my particular boat was organized by someone who wanted to get uh, parents of small children off the island. Um, we found out about the lift um, from uh, another mom. It was a phone chain. Um, and, you know, be at this place at this time. Um, it was becoming desperate, and we weren't sure it was the right move, but it was the right move. We. Um, the, the boats, uh, we went to the dock to wait. They told us it would be there at 2.30. And there was no, there's no formal organization. They just say, go, there will be a boat. We waited, we went at 2.30. Um, the boat had mechanical errors. We didn't realize it, but we had, we waited in the sun on, with no shade with our one-year-old um, until 6.30 p.m. before we got to leave, before the boat showed up. And I'm telling you, I've never been so happy in my life to see a boat. We have a curfew in effect on the island. Um, from uh, that uh, begins at 6, 6 p.m. So we couldn't have traveled home. Um, someone dropped us off the dock. We couldn't have traveled home. We would have had to spend the night with our one-year-old on that dock. So we were starting to become very concerned to the point of desperate. And when that boat showed up to take us to San Juan, I've never been happier in my life. Laura, just uh, try and give us a sense of the, uh, the damage that you saw before you left St. Thomas. It's unbelievable. Um, the first moment, the first breath of fresh air after the storm, after we left the bunker that we survived a storm in, um, there, were, there aren't words to describe the shock. We all just stood. It wasn't the, it wasn't the same island that we closed the door on when we went into the bunker that morning. It's a beautiful place. It's known for being beautiful. People visit it because it's a paradise. Um, Everything is green, colorful flowers everywhere, and it, it's brown. All of the trees are snapped in half. It, we, when we have ventured off of our property, it's almost impossible to know where we're going because it is so unrecognizable that all of the familiar signposts for, you know, that tree is where you know that this is the turn off to that person's house uh, and that tree is gone. So um, it was actually quite difficult to get from our house to the place where we were picked up for rescue. The um, We live about 10 minutes to that harbor um, in normal times. And yesterday it took us over an hour um, down power lines, almost, you know, just everywhere. Um, some such that car, there are paint marks um, on the bottoms where the cars just slip right under um, to get through. Um, down power lines everywhere. Um, uh, on the north side where we live, there is no power. Um, I, I don't think that there will be power for probably six months. Uh, Laura, uh, many thanks um, for that. Laura Strickling there, speaking to us from uh, Puerto Rico.